Grab your glasses. Time to do a little retail gardening, and we need to see what we're buying. Natalie Bumgarner with UTIA Plant Sciences is shopping for plants at Stanley's Greenhouse in Knoxville. She's looking closely at the wide selection, but not with her regular eyewear. Natalie is doing a demo with eye tracking glasses with added lenses and cameras. And here's a recording of the world through her eyes. You know, for those of us who kind of grow plant material, we're looking at, you know, plant structure, we're looking at health, we're looking at other things. And we may look past things like bloom or the first things that a customer would see. So there is a certain amount of kind of the production eye versus the consumer eye. These glasses measure eye movement and the amount of time someone is looking in a certain direction. It's basically you seeing what I'm seeing. Alicia Reen with UTIA Agricultural and Resource Economics has done graduate research with these glasses. Here she explains how they work. So the glasses, I have a pair right here, look just like your typical glasses and what they have is a camera that faces out the front and you can see what people are looking at. But then on the back, there are these two little cameras that triangulate the eyes and can see exactly what people fixate on when their eyes stop to look at something and information processing occurs. Reen says eye tracking glasses can be helpful in agricultural research, but also to track consumer tendencies when people are shopping. Information a place like Stanley's might find useful. If you're in a garden center and you have some interesting signage, do people look at that? Do they look at the plant? Does that impact their purchasing behavior? Humankind has a notoriously short attention span, and some experts believe we only absorb about 2% of the visual information around us. But when we can see another view, eye opening and eye popping, we're gaining information and perhaps considering a new way of looking at something. This is Charles Denny reporting.